You use the bloody smoke box as a boat anchor? Yeah. There's piranhas in that lake. That's what I was fishing for. I'll go get it. Don't worry, I got it. Yeah, I installed it too. It's together. Well, after that fiasco, we went to Tracy, picked up the boiler. After disassembling the boiler, it went to Tracy, California to my buddy Evans. The first step was to punch out the old tubes, and it's no easy task. Luckily, I have good homies like Evan here to help me out. Here's some shots of the boiler after the tubes were taken out. And here's her at Evan's shop up on the stand. New tubes. Aw, oh, yeah. After the new tubes were installed, Evan took her up to 250 to pressure test her. Boiler is back. Here's the new tubes. Evan did a fantastic job on it. Hydro tested, 250 PSI, he left his signature, really cool. There's the coil, there's the new plug. And the shiny new tubes. I have it on the stand right here. Start assembling the firebox here and just put this plate on. I'm about to put this plate on. And then start claying it up, fire clay. So yeah, here's the boiler. Exciting times. Next step was to install the fire clay in and around the firebox. Fire clay helps insulate the firebox. After the boiler was complete, I then lowered her down to the frame. I also took this opportunity to make a wood deck. Next step was to clad the boiler. Here's a shot inside her smoke box. Followed by installing the steam turret. After that I went ahead and hooked up the throttle. You can note the beginning process of putting yarn around the steam pipe. Getting this boiler jacket on. It's 
quite the ordeal. There's a lot of little fittings. The one down below left, um, that valve is for the water glass, the bottom of the water glass. It's kind of funny because it feeds in through there, through that bolt in the middle, through that fitting in the middle, and then you can see the bottom of the water glass fitting right, right in the middle there. So the jacket took a little bit, but it is on, and the tank is on, the saddle tank is on. I just filled the cylinder lubricator up. I'm going to drain it a little bit, uh, kind of let it ventilate any kind of air that's stuck in there, um, which I don't think there is, but from the reservoir up here to the cylinder lubricator down here, it travels quite a distance, so that little cap... This little cap, I'm going to open up, let it bleed a little bit, and just reassure that there's nothing but sweet honey coming down to those pistons. She's coming together. Next up, we're going to do, I'm just going to, this is easy peasy, just put the front smoke box door on, and the front smoke box plate, smokestack and light, easy ease. She'll start looking like butter pig here soon. Sometimes it's kind of hard to work on the right side of her because she's slammed up against a workbench in the garage, so I have to take her out. She's coming together. Next step, we're going to do a little bit of plumbing inside the cab. I'm going to take her over to my buddy Chris's. Chris, Chris did an amazing job with all the plumbing work. I can't thank him enough. Well, Butter Pig is complete, and I had an opportunity to take her to Bitter Creek in Western. We were there for three days, and I ran her for a total of about 15 hours. I really don't know what to say, other than she runs better than I've ever ran her before. I've had to use a lot less blower, if any, and she builds copious amounts of steam. Here you can see Butter Pig pulling up the rear with her three inch cousins on the annual triple header. I can't thank everybody enough for all their help. It really means a lot to me. My buddy Dave once said to me, railroading, it's not a hobby, it's an obsession. And he's right. I'm glad to have my obsession back on the rails. Thank you for tuning in, and always keep steaming.